Charles Magillaveri moved from Canada to the U.S. and eventually joined the Army soon after the attack on Pearl Harbor. During the Battle of the Bulge his company was pinned down by German forces which killed his commander and lieutenant, leaving him as the highest-ranking soldier in the group. He took charge of the company, inspiring his men to hold the line. During an enemy attack, he volunteered to go behind their line and take out enemy machine gun positions. Sneaking through the heavily wooded area, he took out one with gunfire and another with a grenade. He then tried to sneak up to another machine gun but was spotted. The crewmen at that position tried to swing their weapon around to take him out. The young sergeant charged them, jumping at them and killing them all with several bursts of his submachine gun. He continued to sneak through the woods until he was seriously injured while destroying his fourth machine gun nest. He said, it took part of my arm off. The only thing that saved me was the snow. I froze in the snow. If I had gotten hit in the South Pacific, I would have bled to death. He was rescued by some passing Frenchmen who took him to an aid station where he lost his arm but recovered. Subscribe for more.